Hello everyone, OJ here, and right now this next matchup is about to happen here. Right now, we have Trevor Zagross on the cover of this one and on the screen. He is an X-Factor player that has played here with the Anaheim Ducks. The zone ability is skilled up. In Italy, lacrosse moves. That's what he could do to put skilled up on his move and try to pick it back in with a lot of ability to take over on strain, tricky shots, and take the tape feeds. And here's the matchup that the Anaheim Ducks are facing against. Well, here they are. And this is the top team, Nashville Predators. This one's going to be a very tough one to get right over in between by the two. Three stars, superstar players, and one superstar player from the Anaheim Ducks. In the courtesy of the lineup, we have is Roman Hosey, Philip Forsberg, and Hoos Soros. He's definitely got some free guys that are definitely right on the target line. Now, for a look on the other hand here for the Nashville Predators, we are seeing a lot of it. We see him in the playoffs as well for the Stanley Cup. Last time, you know, just a couple of years ago, back then. And we could talk about that one here. Roman Hosey has sending ability with the elite long passing on the player with the puck of a release bit. Then across from here with Philip Forsberg, he gets a snipe, early puck setting. That's another one to give that one a snipe look and give it a good open target angles. And for Hussaros, he lifts it up to a post to post on the setting of the game. He's really well at that point, but give the good look to Soros, their team won against the Toronto Maple Leafs, and that's why they never know what to come up to be expected by them. So, the superstar players on the bat angle here that turned out was only Matt Duckany and welcome to the team, Ryan McDonough. Well, there might be somebody else that could try to like keep an eye on the pressure. We'll see how this one goes, right between from the two. Nashville Predators at Anaheim to play at the Honda Center. The next commentary matchup, and for the commentary of the guests, it will be Meatbone and Son of Beast. I will be here in the post-game show, and Fan will be on the center ice of the game. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy your next game. Hello everyone, it's Son of Beast, and right at this moment, we got a great matchup in between Nashville Predators and Anaheim Ducks. With me and me phone and fan, this is NHL on EA Sports. Puck is about to be dropped and we are ready. Here we go folks, this game is about to start now. Here are a couple players in the starting groups. We have his Trevor Zagross. Then across on the other hand is Phil Hosey. Across here is Philip Forsberg. And the starting goalies on the other hand we have is our Saros. He's got a great uh, look on the hand that he can try to definitely play with, along with the other team that can definitely try to take it off. And the other goalie we have is Gibson, here for the Anaheim Ducks goalie of the defender. He's really on to the great ones and ability. We all have to see which one he has. Trevor Sagras has gotten some uh, skilled up challenging. He could take a lacrosse on the puck here and then take it from here in the net. Johansson's got the puck here and try to get right into the one that he was looking for. The better players are not just the only way to get this thing a go for. But the tough one, however, they really got it in there. With the tough release with gear, the penalty is on a rough call on Nashville. And across the other hand, does turn out to be Troy Terry. Ryan Tosin was never going to see what's going to happen. It didn't really look like he was going to try to pick it up the pace up there, but it's not going to let this happen to be stopped down. This will be a four on four power play in between by the two to give it start on the run. Forsberg is outside. Swings the puck over to Gronland. He looks over to Fabro. Stick lifted. Stick it in that. Saved by Gibson. 
Gibson has his first save here for tonight. Now has sent to Josie with a skill shipping in front of it is out of the range. Hawk goes back. That will be holding up here by Saros. Cozies has the puck. Nashville working it away inside the perimeter. Cozy lifts off to Sissons. And a bad pass releases here. Ekholm will have to try to regroup it. That's regrouping the only man at the center. Because there may not be another way to get right around it if you want to go from a heavy tackler on attack. Power play's coming on here for the for those two, but it won't be enough to get right back into it. What a hit! Johansson's got the puck across in the wing. Now swings over to Sissons. Brings off to Hosey. Curry up, shoots one! Saved by Gibson. Gibson really was gonna like try to like keep the puck under range. Now he's really going to like take it over it. You may need to go find another way to get right around it. Here's Komodis, saved by Saros. That's a first save here for tonight. Now has a tuck Lux in a potential zone. He moves inside, going for two on one. Backhand went wide. And that's Sanford that's trying to stop the run. Strong right to Dice Style. Goes to Kulikov. Smith holds the puck here across again. Kulikov's got the puck here to rebound. Anaheim in the zone. That's taken away. Terry has it back. Smith's got the puck in a neutral zone. Making the move in front. With the shot. That went wide again and no shot made a goal. They're too much to go over it. Nashville needs to find another way to get right around it. Lazoon, Lisa takes the puck away. We've seen the last season here in it was not going to be enough to try to hit the deck. The Anaheim Ducks couldn't try to save it back. Because of this one, it deflected in there. And with the moment it releases, the Hurricanes beat the Ducks with a score of 5-4 in the game. I know this was definitely the very toughest game. Carolina Hurricanes have already won the season, but it looks like that the next game is at Detroit and the Motor City to play against the Red Wings. I mean, it really did turn out. I know this was a very hard look to give up on a credit, but how does this all turn out to be one by one players? Well, <laughs> there might be no way to get right around it. We'll have to find out if there's a good solution here without Sebastian Aho. New Dreader up to Gronland. Swings back to Lanzu. Lawson inside, blocked up in front. Heavy tacker on the mighty duck. Shane Kirk's got the puck here in the neutral zone. Going in, shot went wide. Defender was on him. Now here's the puck. He swings around the corner. To the dreader. To do it to me. McDonough. Goes back to McDonough with some room. Love save by Gibson. Benoit with the puck. So it's taken away by Glass. Looks to Duckney. Shoots. Save by Gibson. Gibson will hold the puck here to stop the play run with well under 11 minutes. The top release been for Forsberg. He's got a great look. It's called a snipe. Sniping puck is a really good way to keep an eyes on a stride. And he knows him for sure he can try to like keep it up at the puck, go for the snipe of the goal. With the run of itself, he has a lot of them to keep his hands on deck. We'll see how well if Philip Forsberg can try to hit their deck on. Back to you guys. Johansson up to head cold. The Predators are getting in the offense zone. What big banger. Trenton up to Curry. Looks to Trenton. That's sticking away here as Silversburg has got the puck. Be no it with it now. Swings the puck up the board. And that won't pick up here either. Trenton's inside. Moves inside. Blocked up in front of a heavy traffic and deflected right toward the goalie.
you approach right down here to, to just um just um just under 9.30 to go. No score yet in the game. Posey swings over the foul ball. Deflecting it off onto the board. They need to find another way to go right over it. Comptos with the puck. That's poked away here by Drennan. Across the line in the corner. He moves in it. Save made by Gibson. This stop made. They really need something else to go right in front of it. Hosey finds Fabro. Fabro swing it over. Nick Ross takes it away. Come toys up again to dry style. Dry style. We check it up. Saros will try to keep it over, and now will gives it off to Farber to McCarran. See across inside. Looks over again. Drysdale. I am a deflection off on the goalie. McCarran up. Two on one. Grass broken up. Kolakov's got the puck practice strong. Now he moves over to Drysdale. Ducks are in transition on offense. Show with it now. Oh, what a great hit. No, it's a fucking in. It looks like that Ryan Strong was, wasn't seeing that coming. It looks like we never know what was going to happen. And I didn't really expect that one. But there was another way that was going to lift off the pass. It looks like they made a mistake here on offense. They couldn't try to save it. Well, I look at the replay, it looks like that Saros was upper in the upper end. He looks like he just couldn't try to save it back. It looks like he was lift out. He was going to lift it, but he lost the puck. He couldn't try to save it back. So at that point, that gave it off to Ryan Strome with the goal. And with that moment, he releases, and that was turned over. A disappointing run here for Saros, but it's not over yet. They still have more time to get over it now. What a close call. Now here's Sanford. Sanford almost went belly out. Sanford shoots. Stopped by Gibson and now will hold the puck here with just five minutes left. There are no long questions asked here. They need something else to get right into this one. Klingberg has the puck. Now goes over to Fowler. Fowler with it over to Jones. Moves over to the London Strom. Here he moving in. Oh, he went bad out. And the puck went wide. Clearly it didn't touch him with a stick. Close call. Dutchney up. Almost deflected in there, but it's Forsberg regrouping the puck. Puck went badly out. They'll have to clear it out to try to regroup it. All they got to do is try to keep a focus on the attention skills. They need something else to try to go right around it. Here's Carrier outside. Glass broken up by Ludenstrom. Anaheim inside. Lisa right over to the corner of the wing. The Ludenstrom stopped again. And that's a close call. That was stopped by Saros. Glass. Close the gap out of here. Klingberg's got the puck here. Now go back the other way. He moves in front. Now takes over to Leeson. Henrik is up. Shot up and over the net. Moves to Leeson. Deflected by the defender. They're a great tough team. They're aggressive on that one. Drysdale. Henrik around the man. And it's stopped here again by Henrik. Nashville moving inside. Looks around the man. Stopped by Gibson. Saved me on a call. And we're just almost a minute and a half to play in the first period. Four players are already going for a tough battle matchup of Anaheim and Nashville. Might be a tough one to get back in the game. McDonough, nice save by Gibson as they need to get enough focus to make that shot. They do. 
McDonough and Alonso. Spin around the man. Alonso up. Stop by Gibson. That is a good save as this one is coming down to 60 seconds left here in the first period. Both players are set here for the faceoff drop. Nashville wins it. Now we're under 60 seconds to play in the first period. McDonough with the puck. Going big bang out of here. Sissons has the puck. Janet. Right to Lawson. McDonough, open man. Moves inside. And it just went out of here. Sissons has the puck. Moves it over to Lawson. Lawson moves in. Sorry by Gibson. Gibson really got a good control of it now. And when the first period comes to an end, it's an early lead of 1-0 the Ducks. We'll be right back with the second period when we come back. Ducks and Predators are ready for the second period. We're back here with you on ice. The Ducks wins the tip up and we are ready for the action play. Well, as for the starting of this one, turned to be a shocking run as Saros went badly deflecting from the net. He didn't really try to hesitate that much, and that wasn't the only man he wasn't going to try to hit it off. It wasn't the tough players that they were going to try to ease up at the run. I don't know what to tell you this one, but this would have been not enough to get right over into it. We don't think that most players are going to try to keep it on going, but it's very hard, though, to try to lift it up from the board. Duck D with the puck. Whip around the man, take advantage, and he spurts it back in the scores on Johansson. They tie the game up. Oh man, looks like Johansson really sees that coming. With players in the bound, trying to pick it up at the man, and he says, here Johansson, take it away. And he knows he made that one a good look. Now the Nashville Predators and the Ducks are tied up. The second period was a start-up call, but they have it all. Nashville back the air away. Fabro badly banged down. Contos with the puck. Now goes this across. Up to Terry. Saved up. That sticks out of here by Saros. Saros really could try to keep it over. And with that better moment, he can try to lift it up. Fowler with the puck. Now finds Comtos. Zagros in the corner. Up to Terry. Here's the puck. Can a rebound. And stopped again by Saros. He's over to Makakovic. And stop made by Saros. Just about 17 24 to go. Still need a lot of pressure to get over. Saros has a lot of post to post man here on the board. He looks for some post of the saving of his game. He's hard on the carry. The impact really needs to keep an eye on control. With that one, he really needs it all. I'll keep an eye on Saros to see how many post-to-post -post saves that he has gotten into it. Guys, it's back. Back to you. Over the glass. I almost would have been bit down, but it would have been a power play coming up here for Nashville. But it was no delay penalty call. It was clean. It looks like they are never going to use that one. To give that one a necessary one. Strong with the putt. Moves in the middle. And they're releasing out to stop the player run. Klingberg outside. Moves to Strong. In is Mactivist. Saved up. Strong rebound put back. No good. Ooh. Oh, that was a hit on a smash. Mass Smashville smashing the Ducks. Saved by Saros. We'll have to hold the puck here with just under 15.30 to go. That's like a football takedown. What a bad. And man down really just didn't really stop going. Wow. Frank Ranchino. He's unable to make himself to go right back on ice. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. Puck is ready for tip-off. 
Back to see who wakes the face off with. Lines are over to Jenna. Predators are back in offense zone. Swings the board to Trenny. Up over to Lanu. Lonzo. Back to Trenny. Ryan McDonough outside. Hasn't scored yet. Looking for a pass over and the off assist. Might be hits on the target. McDonough loose it. That heavy traffic is clogged up. And they're going to need to try to figure out another way. Ducks. Unable to make a, make a connection feed to try to look for another man opener. Sanford with the puck. Try to leave it around. Shoots one. Shot blocked. Gleason with the puck. Looking inside. McDonough. Great uh, deflection here. Looking for a nice open look on the pass. Shoots. Saved by Gibson. Gibson was able to try to keep it over. Might need to give a little more power on that one. Hosey with the puck. Go in the middle. Plus saved by Gibson. That will stop the play with just under 13 minutes. We have an update here. It looks like that, that Frank Bertrano will not be returning to the game out there. Unfortunately, he is out. And we will have to see if the medical is intended to make an issue out there to see how this all turned out. Thanks for the update, Yermi Fung. Fabro with the puck, finding over his Sanford. Moves along the wing. Looks to pass over to Forsberg. Kicks the puck on the board. Silverberg trying to fight back on Sanford. Now finds Grant. Grants with the puck in the neutral zone. Looks it over. Blocked it out in front. McCarran up to Duckany. Nashville going back in the offense zone. Looks over. Favreau unable to make a connection feed. Forsberg would have that one back, but it was too late. Tough ones are not that simple. They need something else to try to give it over. Johansson to Forsberg. Looks inside. Save. On oh, another save. Bird in a row. Wow. Gibson. Unbelievable look. And they're back into it. They've really got a great look on that one. What a stop. 10.43 left. Haven't made a half. Made, made the mid-period mid left. And right now it's Klingberg up to Terry. Ducks are back in offense zone. Trying to help it away, and now it's carried out by Carrier. Carrier is inside here on the offense zone in the wing. Looks to Elkholm. Shoots up! Stopped again by Gibson. Back to Elkholm. And the puck went clearly back down, and they were going to have to regroup it. Always need to make some new changes if you're not ready to go on offense. You might need to try to shift it again. Back in, deflect it in, and so has its second goal. It's a 2-1 game of the Predators. That's a mistake on Anaheim. Watch what happened. Oops. Yep. I didn't really seem to care about that one because the puck was deflected in and hit by the blade. Johansson received two goals. They're now in the lead by one. Yep, that was up by one. And with that one, the tougher players are just getting banged out. Watch out for trouble. They're going to need to try to figure it out to get back over it. Glass takes it away. Flies the puck around the board. New Drayler up again. Grand line. And Zagras takes it away. Terry's inside. Moving along in. Nice defense. That goes back the other way. Kalatos tight. Saved me by Soros. Almost went a lot of bagel out there. There might be somebody else that could try to pick it up again. Kalatos of the stroll. Looks over to the, the air player. But it was the dreader taken away. Now it's back to the dreader. 
moves in the middle, and it's taken over again. Jab battle for the loose putt. It's Janet with a takeaway. Klingberg back in it. Now finds Stroh. Back to Lisa. Ducks back on offensive zone on the attack. Saved by Saros. Pull it back over to national offense zone. Trent scoops it in. Scoops over to Fabro. Fabro tries again by Hosey. Back to Fabro. Fabro in the move. Stopped again by Gibson. And he misfires and it goes with a misconnection feed. Not a great look on the offense. You don't want to try to like make a connection over it if you want to go with the bang of the look. That's what you're gonna to need to do. Get over it. Oh, the little bump out. Nashville on the attack. Strong takes it away. Now finds Shankrick. Hendrick has got the puck. He's got it inside. Attacker stopped by Elkholm with the puck with the puck deflector. Nashville back the other way. Looks over to Carey. Swings back to Janet. Now back to Carey. Shoots one. Scores. McCarran's goal deflects it in. They extend the lead 3-1. That's when McCarran's got it. They got a great carry on to make it puck clear. Now to talk about that one, that puts it in there with a good look for McCarran. That's a great deflection right in the puck. I gotta say that McCarran is doing really well at that point. And thanks to Alexandria or Carrier, their team is up ahead. Puck wins here across from Nashville. Now they're pulling it back in there. McCarran back over to Carey. Smith outside. Shoots one. That went too hard and went right to the board. Smith over to Carey. Back to McCarran. Silverberg takes it away. Close the gap in the middle. Silverberg trying to find an airway to work. Bannon right over to Grant. Puck takes away. Dougie's all alone. And can't make a connection feed. There's so much players. They're waiting for it so long to try to keep up the momentum. They need to find another way to stop them. The puck sends out of play. We got a whistle. We just passed under four minutes left. Now it goes to three minutes in the second period. Nashville leads it 3-1. Now here's Lisa. Up with their puck. That stopped again by Saros. Saros will hold the puck here with 2.45 remaining. Duck wins it. Drysdale. Glove saved by Saros. Nice one. Putting a little pad under here. Like a little baseball catch. Oh, the fans are not going to even like that one. With awesome. Shot blocked. Jones has it down in the corner. Trying to look in the center. Lisa up again. Deflecting on Lawson. Lawson is still receiving big here. Dockney with the puck. Lawson up. Back to McDonough. Back to Lawson. Looks over to the Dreader. Looks inside. That is stopped by Gibson. Gibson is trying to give this thing a good wacky run. They needed something big. Plus saved by Saros. We just saw under the minute to play here in the second period. The E1 is at where he left off. Trying to lift it up. And it's back over to Glass. Fabro is outside. Shoots it in. Stop by the stop by the goaltender. Camilo Comtos has got the puck here. Back in the middle. Move it along the board. That's stopped again by Saros. Saving big and a dreader carries offside.
Nashville wins the faceoff. And that will do for the second period. 3-1 is where we sat. A great carry on here for McCarry. They aren't doing a lot that much better than they had here, just like last season. Third period's coming up after this. Be right back. Second period has been complete for now. This is the final period here in the game. Nashville is doing really well here to play with that game, but unable to make the playoffs how this happened. But the only ever tougher teams, they made it that far. But just a first round loss here against the Colorado Avalanche, the number one C team. Got beaten and shut down here by the other guys because they were really well at that point. And now, may need to find somebody else to get it carried over with. Johansson battling along the board. Forsberg trying to carry it back. Fowler up to Comtois. Comtois up. Trying to pick a poke check. Up to Zagras. What a stop by some by Soros. Looks over to Zagras. Up again. Johansson takes it back after a Soros save. Daphne in the cross. Moves around. Forsberg. Club save up the chest. And we'll get a whistle in the play with just passing a minute to go by. Both teams are set here to take on the faceoff. Nashville still in the lead here with 3 1 score. Anaheim wins it. Now here's Lisa. Ducks with it now. On a break. Great stop here by Duckney. He's on a great move out there. What a ter carry terrific on like he did. Carry back to Glass. Back to Gronland. Looks to Elko. Finds over Carrier. Shoots wide. That went way off target. Looks to Carrier back to Gronland. That's poked away. Calling for the back. Carrier up across now to Glass. Glass whipping now. Outcome. Open look. Stopped again by Gibson. Puck is drawn back. And icing is the call on Anaheim. Both players are set here for face-off drop. Anaheim still gives it off. Hello! Oh wow, looks like that was a heavy hit. I can't believe it that it was going to be turning out bad. One down, and there's another player down. Where the Ducks? Watch out now. Hendrick, back to Klingberg. Klingberg back to Grant. Move along the middle, and now it's taken away by Sissons. Trannon fires the puck across. Gina has the puck recovered. McDonough finds Sissons. Looks to Lanson. Lawson up again. Couldn't find a man opener. Trannon up. Dry style. Back to Silverberg. Now goes back to McDonough. He moves along the middle. Moving in. Shoots. And it goes up and over to the, to the net. And it will have to be a right up from the glass. It's tough though to make it the Worthy credit run. That will be a tough releasement. McDonough shoots one. That's a glove save. Easy call on Gibson. Stop the clock here at just 14 minutes. Players are set here on ice time. 14 minutes to go in the third period. Hosey. Musa Fabro. Fabro went banging on the board. Really good takeaway from the defensive line. They might have to go with something else. Sanford. Up to Fabro. Shoots. Saved off by the defender. Fabro back to Smith. Moves back to Hosey. That's a good takeaway here by the defender of the Ducks. The Mighty Ones are trying to go back into the offensive place. But they need to find another way to go around it. 
Forsberg. Loose off the McCarry. He almost lost the puck here, but holds on tight. Ackholm. Lindenstrom says, take a look at this. Okay, it was definitely on a better range than he had. Jones lost the puck. Oh, here comes Stephanie. Here he goes. Stopped by Gibson. Carrier back with it now. That goes right back to Forsberg. Ekholm, back camera release is not going to work for him. Oh, and he's still alive. Predators are still trying to find another way to get around it. That's a play here to, to kick down the time. And they might need to try to, like, hit off the deck here like they did before. Terry with the puck. Great stop here by Ekholm. Now goes to Grandland. Moves the board. And the Dreader is on the board. Grandland with the puck. Shoots up ahead. Stop again by Gibson. Terry is right now with the puck. Anaheim with it now. Comto shot. Plus save by Saros. Saros is really looking at board up here. Might need to face it big. Past the midway period in the third. Now Glass. Looks it over again to the Dreader. Hosey back over to Fabro. And a penalty is coming up here for the Nashville Predators. They will have some other time with an extra man on. And that will stop the play. This will be a slashing call on Trevor Zegras. Wow, Zegras are just can't believe it. How this all turned out, and that thing is going to be a power play on the Nashville. This was not an easy joke. It was just serious how this all had happened. Nashville are on to the power play for the start of the night here in the third period. You win it. Benoit up to Shannon Kirk. Shannon Kirk with the Silverberg. Lifts over again. Hosey has the puck. Trying to lift over to Forsberg. Right to Duckney. Trying to lift it over. Hosey has the puck. Tries to give it off to him. But he wants to regroup it again. Now fights Forsberg. Forsberg! Man down. Benoit really got a good handle of it. Stopping the play, Duckney. Forsberg with the puck. Releasing a man around. Backhand blocked by Silverberg. Up to Grant. Grant slings the puck around the board. Looks to Duckney. Up to the Dreader. Up to Glass. Shoots one. And almost tipped it bad and it was stopped by Gibson. Faber has the puck. Moves into Duckney. Time is almost about to expire. Shoots it in. Rebound won't be enough. The power play comes to an end for the Nashville Predators as they have an even strength for the goal. Nice play movements out here for the Ducks. They're going to need to try to figure it out how to get back into it. And they might find out what will they do next. Glass. Looks over to the Dreader. Carrier back outside. Jones has the puck. The Ducks are going back to offensive zone to pick it up. Shoots wide. Sissons has the puck here across the board. Swings the puck across. The Dreader has one. No icing is the call. Carry up to Grenland. Grenland assistance. Back in releases. That stop. Terry right outside. Ducks try to find a way to get in there. Carry up with the puck. Now has Nidretto. Nidretto with it now. Contos has the puck back in the center. Trying up to Sissons. Sissons up with the puck. Releases it, right, and it's stopped up by Sissons with another save on Gibson. 
Comptos has a run. Fowler's in there. Punch again. Oh, the fucking back in the net is out of there. That's so a savior. Carrier has the puck down. Now brings it over to Smith. That's stopped by Stroll. Looks over to Shankrack. Blocked out. What the badly outrage out there up to the board. Here's Strom. Outside the middle. Saved by Saros. Stop the play at 3.35 left to go. This has been a roughest part of the game here since we know that this was a tough out mighty range out there, me thought. I know. This was definitely a very tough game that they were ever trying to compete. Play by favor. They really got a stop on it. Smith with the puck. Stick Kelly on the motion. Finds Lawson. Lawson moves it in. Across the net. McCarran scores! That's two goals. Extended up 4 1. National going crazy. I'm going to tell you why. That was a deliberation feed. And in the run across the net, McCarran saved it all. What a big moment. The lead has been cut up and extended up by three. Nashville are celebrating up here with a second win of the season. They're really on a great start at the run. They're really well on the pace. Duckney, that's not going to help him. Lost it back to McDonough. McDonough moving across. Finds a look open. That play is out of reach. Strom with the puck carry. Swings back. Johansson with the steal. Forrest Bear 3 on 1. And Kilikov has the puck taken away. Now face over to Leeson. Leeson finds another way to get into the zone. Duckney has the puck back. Taken away by Henry. Leeson has the puck again. That stopped by Saros. Chet wide. That great play out there. Very, really well. We come down to the final minute of the regulation period of the game. And the Ducks seem to be having a difficult time to get over it. A nightmare in the last season. And now a nightmare happened to be with Nashville. It's already been here at home taken out of here. They're really tough ones. Can't be resigned on there if they were going to try to figure it out to get over it and try to back it in there. Johansson up to the Fabro. 30 seconds left to play in the third. Bucks move around the board. Janet will try to clear it. Leave the puck alone without the offside carry. Now moving in. Saved by Saros. Grant has the puck and Fabro will carry the puck to end his game. Wow, a disappointment with the run. Ducks couldn't find a way to fight back. And that should do it. Nashville Predators crush Anaheim Ducks. A 4-1 win. And that was all it took with a Saros and a team victory win. I have to tell you that when Nashville smashes Anaheim of the Ducks, that's why they're a really tough team. Well, as we're being said right now, this was definitely a tough night for Anaheim Ducks. They'll have to come back here for next season to get back in the game. This is Mifa and Son of Beast, along with the center ice here of the fan. We hope you enjoyed this part of the game, and we'll see you again for the next game. Now it's time to send you over to OJ for the post game show. All yours. Good night, everyone. All right, there. Thank you very much. Here are the three star players of the game. The fourth star goes to Michael McCarran with two goals. That's going to be a great deflection and putting the pass here to, to McCarran. Great shots in the goal. Second star goes to Cruz Saros with 27 saves. Really well played, like he did. And a first star, Ryan Johansson. Two goals and two hits. A turn out easy backhand and put it deflected on the defender with the hit of a blade and went in the net. 
So that was the combination here for the total shots on goal by 50 and 28. 12 and 17 was a hit. Time on attacks was so much they could bring things in. And only a power play was put it up here for a penalty here with Nashville. And they're going to try to like go right around the back. And it does happen to be with a penalty between a rough thing on the call on Nashville and Anaheim. But that was all it did turn out. And just only the passing percentages, they done a really well job here for Anaheim. But 79 need to get up more to try to work their way around. And with that one, the face-off win was 15 for the Ducks and 13 for the Predators. So, I guess that ends up here with a disappointing effort here for the Ducks. We'll have to see them again next season. Because we're not sure if the Ducks can try to survive it here in for this season because the Arrow players got it all down here and coming. So I hope this turns out to be a uh, great game like you have seen it. And with that one, this one, next game, we will have another one here for the matchup for you. The Hurricanes against the Red Wings at Detroit of Motor City. So with that one, there might be another way to get over it. Last season with the win of Detroit and across from here, they did beat the Anaheim Ducks here for last season here for the home case at a home game. So, we'll see if they can try to fix it up and go right back into the heavy hitters on deck. So at that point, thank you all for watching. And this is OJ here on Son of Beast. I'd like to thank you for watching for this part of the presentation of the NHL 23. Peace out everyone for a while as the NHL on EA Sports style. Good night, everybody. We'll see you all again for next game. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.